let's have a look at using the metric history analysis module. Now, this allows us to plot any one of our given metrics over time to see how we're trending. So we've opened up metric history and you see right now we're looking at our duration metric and how long it's taken us in this case to process our process instances over time. Okay, We can set the date range here manually or we can adjust these bounds just to look at a specific time time period. We can also change the metric here in the top left. So if I want to look at the events per timeline, unique events, a custom time gap, or possibly just the number of timelines that have come in over a certain period, I can dynamically select the metric and it will change to show me exactly what we've got in that time range. The last thing to mention here is the ability to choose whether or not we want to look just if the first event is within our time interval the last event exists in our time interval should it be counted in that in that scenario or if any event exists in the time interval 